President Trump was impeached for inciting a violent insurrection that left five people dead. He was kicked off Facebook and Twitter for the same thing. For the record, before that in 2020, Twitter slapped a warning on one of his tweets for violating its rule against glorifying violence. And numerous times during campaign rallies, he called for his supporters to beat up protesters. Well, turns out this kind of rhetoric runs in the family. Here's his daughter-in-law on Fox last night talking about the surge of migrants at the southern border. I don't know what you tell the people that live at the southern border. I guess they better arm up and get guns and be ready. And maybe they're going to have to start taking matters into their own hands. Last hour, Texas Congressman Joaquin Castro explained in stark terms why that comment was so despicable. Well, that's the kind of dangerous rhetoric that gets people targeted and gets people killed. That's the kind of rhetoric that led to a guy driving 10 hours from Dallas, Texas to El Paso to murder 23 people because he considered them Hispanic invaders to Texas. So at worst, what Lara Trump said was a call to violence. At best, it was an extremely tone deaf remark as the country faces unprecedented spikes in gun violence and hate crimes. Words matter.